And uh, one, two. I play Perdita, who is the daughter of Leontes and Hermione. Leontes suspects that Hermione and Polixenes have had an affair, and he claims that the child is not his, and so he banishes the child he wants it left for dead. So she's left on the shores of Bohemia. There is an emerald necklace left with her that would make one think that she would have royal heritage, but it's not ever known to her. So she grows up thinking that she's a commoner, just a member of the, of the lower class in Bohemia. We see this little girl having grown up. She's 16 years old, and she's now living in a community of, of shepherds and shepherdesses. And she's fallen in love with Prince Florizel, who is the son of King Polixenes. What Chris has done is he's made a plot device where he has the father give her uh, an emerald necklace, a beautiful one, which is the same as one that her mother had at one point. And this necklace now becomes symbolic of her royal heritage. Rehearsals for Act Two have a very different sort of atmosphere, just in, even in the rehearsal room to the rehearsals for Act One. Um, I think purely because of the nature of the atmosphere of the piece. Act Two sort of feels like it has its own different kind of language. It's light and pastoral and full of life and energy and feels almost like a rebirth. Good. We designed Sicily first, and Bohemia then became the kind of antithesis of that, you know, the complete opposite of that, in that it's filled with colour and it's full of pattern. We've printed everything, we've dyed everything. It's all very, very bright, and it has a sort of a real exuberance about it compared to the austerity of the court of Leontes. We might have to go tick, 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 tick to get out of the way there. I really enjoy working with Chris Wilden and I really love collaborating with him. He sometimes lets Stephen and me just finish something that he's started and if he likes the way we come out of it, he'll keep it in. That's it. And then again. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we do. But no, it was good. It was nice. Okay. Whatever it was, like do the it. Act two. Yeah, that's yeah, it's good. These two youngsters have fallen in love. He's a prince, she's a shepherdess. It's not a particularly agreeable setup for a prince to be falling in love with a shepherdess. We've seen that in ballets before. Florizel is the son of Polixenes, and Polixenes does not want him marrying a commoner. Our union and then our quest to get that union blessed is what brings everyone back together and is what heals everyone in the end.